Richard Trevithick's high-pressure steam engine required a couple of really clever innovations. Now, since they also involve water, fire, and the threat of explosions, we thought it would be better to go outside, despite the fact that it is raining and very cold. <laughs> OK, Mark, demo number one. What have yes, you got here? I'm multitasking. I'm making us a cup of tea, which is very needed, and I'm also going to show how Trevithick's made his boilers much more efficient. So here's kettle number one, totally normal kettle with some water in it. Here's kettle number two, but with a fire tube in the middle. And this is a, a tube that goes from bottom to top and it's one of Trevithick's best inventions. It's, it's incredibly banal, isn't it? I mean, really just sticking a bit of metal. You it doesn't sound very that. clever. You say that, but it's going to make this kettle boil so much faster and actually he made his boilers revolutionary. So it seems like an obvious thing to do, but that's <laughs> all great ideas are a bit like that, aren't they? They seem obvious in retrospect. So what happens is, because you've got a tube down the middle, you've got the hot air from the flame is in contact with much more water. So you've got, in a sense, a much faster boiler. OK, and your prediction, presumably, this one's going to boil before that one. It's not just a prediction. Come on. <laughs> it's going to happen. OK, OK, Cathy, what have you got for me? Well, the other really major innovation in Trevithick's boilers is the, the shape of the boiler itself. Now, if you can imagine, high pressure water wants to get to a spherical shape. So the ideal shape for a boiler is spherical. Now they're practically impossible to manufacture. So the second best thing you can do is a cylinder. Mm -hmm. So if you imagine this is the Bolton and Watt shape boiler. Yep. This is Trevithick's new nice cylindrical boiler. And this is high pressure steam. Get pumping. OK, All so you... I represent you hot wanna... burning flames. Do yeah, I? Hot, hot burning, exploding. Oh, it's dangerous, flames. is it? Yeah. Potentially dangerous? Could <laughs> well, blow up in our faces? Well, it's a high pressure experiment. Okay. OK, and what we're going to see is as you add extra pressure to this box, yeah. we're putting it under a pressure test. So both of them are under equal pressure? Yep, same thickness, same capacity, same amount of water going in. Something so should if, happen. If you imagine trying to do high pressure steam with Bolton and Watch box, this is what would happen. OK. All the water inside it is trying to get to being a sphere inside yep. a cube. So the sides begin to bulge, the welds around the edge Ooh. begin to crack. And you can see... It's that, beginning to hiss, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's been into... Oh, oh, there's a leak down here. It's there's... safe to do... Oh, don't get too close. This is looking I mean, ominous. Always begin to go, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, if that was high-pressure steam, you'd imagine it just jetting out basically broiling you. <laughs> so this is why it's Oh, there you go. If you can see the squirt coming yeah. out of there. It's absolutely spraying out here I now. Know. <laughs> that one is, the other one's looking rather good. Do I dare do another one? Oh. <laughs> yeah, there it goes. <laughs> and that's the problem. And this is basically steam just pouring yeah. out here. Fortunately, this stuff is cold, but uh, if that was hot steam, then I would be, be scalded alive. This is really very, very impressive, I have to say, because this one is absolutely spraying away. This one, the Trevithick machine, if you like, the Trevithick boiler is completely intact. And good old James Watt is leaking like... Well, he's leaking I've like... I've got some steam over here too, guys. Tea's ready. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Like that. We like tea. That worked. <laughs> Look. Really impressively. <laughs> I love it when... Woo! This one's going, this one's not going. You're yes. right, Mark. It wasn't me. Um, <laughs> to be honest, Trevithick. it's Trevithick. Cup of tea? Yeah. <laughs> love it. One for you, one for me, one for you. One for Mark. One for Mark, there it goes. Now, all the, f all the other people who, who followed him after this, they all used these fire tubes. They stuffed their boilers with them. Stevenson, a lot of them, they, they just love this invention. Richard Trevithick, what a guy.